thought I'd do something a little different because I have a lot of one-off products and I thought I'd do this interesting video. So I'm going to do skincare products I love from brands I don't. At first I was going to title it skincare products I love from brands I hate, but hate is such a strong word and the brands I really, really hate, I don't even want to, I don't even talk about them or review anything from them. So I'm not going to mention them. So the brands I don't hate, but I don't love them. So anyway, first off, the CoQ10 Antioxidant Serum from the Inky List. This is a really nice, it's one of their original products. Their original products that they came out with were some of the best stuff that they've come out with. And now they're on to fast market time or fast uh, formulation to market time. They're all about that and quick sales and new products all the time and Anyway, so the brands kind of went astray from what I liked them about initially. Uh, but anyway, this stuff, this product is still really wonderful. So good product, good antioxidants, CoQ10, wonderful, good ingredients. So, okay, Kiehl's is another brand I'm not so fond of, uh, especially um, who they're owned by. I'm not too fond of as well, but I won't get into Nestle and their steak and all this stuff because they own a lot of brands or part owner or are involved with a lot of things so I won't talk too much about that but I really do like this retinol serum from them it's very gentle I'm planning on gonna try and use it on my neck I've been debating between this one and the good molecules one I think I'm gonna give this one a whirl it's very gentle it has no scent to it and it, it's really darn expensive but I still like this product and Kiehl's I'm not so fond of but anyway this stuff is a really nice gentle retinol which I like expensive but anyway okay the purito centella unscented cream purito uh, their sunscreen drama a couple of years ago was uh kind of it for me for the brand i liked the brand before that but now i'm not so fond of the brand but i still really like this product i like some of their stuff but their sunscreen debacle was a huge one and i can't overlook some of the facts relating to it but i still like this product from them and i still use it a lot and uh, anyway, I still have yet to find a really good dupe for it. Uh, but anyway, I love the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. And then they changed that. And then this was my next go-to. But I'm really loving the IG Natural Repair Serum. So that might replace this one. But I still have a bottle and I got to finish it. I still like it. Okay, next up, the Proteini Polypeptide Cream. Uh, you know what they're kind of doing, what the Inky List is doing, not at the same speed, but releasing a lot of new products. They got purchased by Shiseido for almost a billion dollars, and since Shiseido has purchased them, they're recouping their money with new releases all the time, which is, I get it. At least they're not releasing 20 new products at a time like the Inky List is doing, but Shiseido, I bet they've made their money back, and now they've got a new Islaic Acid uh, product coming out, which I'll probably try, but... I still like this cream, although recently, the last few tubes, tubs I've had of it, I'm finishing slower and slower because I'm using it less and less because I'm finding other moisturizers I like, and it foams up almost over any other product, so I don't know what the deal is, but I still like it, but not my love affair as much as it was like three years ago, but I still like it, except for the part when it foams up. Okay, next up, this is another brand... I'll never buy anything from them because they're freaking expensive, but I like the sample I got. I've had a few samples of it, the Dr. Barbara Sturm Face Cream Rich version. Although the full size is, what, like 200 some dollars and it comes in a jar. Never going to buy it, but I've had a couple samples of this. I think I got, I can't remember where I got it from, actually. I got it in some gift box or something, whatever, and I like it. It's nice. It has no scent to it. I'll never purchase the full size, and the brand is ridiculously expensive for what it is, but I still like this product. Uh, I don't necessarily think anybody else should shell out 200 bucks for it, but I mean, if you're in the market for a moisturizer, the Proteini is just as good. Except for the fact that it foams now over everything. Something in that product changed a couple of years or a year or two ago than it was before. I don't know, with the Proteini, something changed it because it never used to foam up before. Maybe it's just fresh now and it was always old stock. I don't know. Anyway, okay. Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Hand Cream, fragrance-free version. Retails for about five bucks. It's a wonderful hand cream. It's very rich in petroleum. I've been using it on my hands at night, um, and it really is nicely hydrating. I'm not a big fan of the Neutrogena brand. They're getting very expensive. Some of their new peptide creams are like 40 some dollars, which is ridiculous for what should be like an affordable store-bought brand, but 
I like this product. I don't really like much else from them, and I don't really have a lot of trust in this brand, but anyway, there we go. I like the hand cream, though, and it's $4 or 5 bucks. so. Okay, a couple more. So, so this would be strong to say I hate this brand because I don't. This brand is okay. I don't love them, but this cream is wonderful. The Then I Met You Renewing Rich Beauty Cream. Super thick, super hydrating. I love it. It's a really nice cream. It's still really expensive. It's around like $50 or $54 or something like that. I don't love the brand because I think a lot of their products are just pretty packaged. Periwinkle color. I love the packaging, but expensive for what they are, which is why I don't love this brand. But this cream from them is really nice, so... It's worth a try for some people that can afford it. Uh, another brand. I used to really like them until they got sold. And uh, you to the people, their future cream. It's really nice. Polypeptides, no fragrance in here. Some nice hydrating ingredients. Great for winter or dry skin. Um, I was a bigger fan of the brand before they sold out. But now that they've sold out, um, not so big a fan of them anymore. Because they took the big paycheck and kind of compromised on a lot of their ethics and values. But whatever, that's beside the point. I do like this moisturizer. It's really quite nice. It's similar in a lot of ways to the Protini, but just a bit more moisturizing. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And then last but not least, we've got Neogen, which is another brand. They, I don't even dislike the brand so much, but they just put so much darn fragrance in nearly all of their products, with the exception of their Micro Essence products. Uh, they put so much fragrance in it, so I just don't like the brand so much. But their uh, Cermetic line, this is their Azulene Soothing Peptide Ampule. It's really nice. Uh, really good ingredient list. It does have some fragrant extracts in there. But overall, it's a really nice soothing peptide product um, from a brand that I could love the brand. But I don't think it's cruelty-free. They're expensive. Most of their stuff just has so much fragrance in it, so can't get over it. Anyway, there we go. Um, anyway, so here's some products I love from brands I don't. Interesting hearing from you guys if you have any products you love from brands you don't. I'm sure you do because, yeah, it just works out that way. Um, so leave a comment with what it is and what you love and what you dislike about the brand you dislike. So leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.